Hello everyone, this is Alice here, and we are in Marina Del Rey, California at Mother's Beach. This is an absolutely gorgeous little beach. It's very quiet. You can do paddleboard here, paddleboard yoga, you can go kayaking, and there's little seals in here. And there's also, you have to be very careful, when you, if you decide to go in the water, you gotta shuffle your feet because there's stingrays. It's really cool. So don't get stung, and thank you so much for watching. Hi, I'm Alice Maples, and you're watching Gym Rat. Today we're going to be doing a dumbbell workout. Let's begin with our warm up. Let's start with some backward shoulder rolls, just in case you're just waking up or just finishing work. Release any of that tension and slowly wake up that body. Nice deep breaths, especially in the beginning to oxygenate everything. And then let's do some big circles and then get on into it, dip it down low, bring it on up, inhaling and exhaling. And then as you start feeling a little bit more warm, you can kind of dig down a little bit deeper. Beautiful. Today we're going to be doing five rounds of five different exercises. Each of those rounds is followed by a cardio burst and some rest gonna be great you're gonna use two different types of weights you're gonna use a heavier set of weights and then a lighter set of weights so next one you're gonna put your hands on your knees just above them and alternate stretching down low beautiful dipping opening up the chest and the back excellent next is gonna be little heel kicks working and warming up those hamstrings and then if that feels good, you can continue doing that. Or if you want a little bit more, you can turn it into faster heel kicks. Excellent. So these workouts are meant to be done every day. So we don't want you to overdo it here with the weight. Otherwise you'll be sore for days, possibly even a week if you overdo it. So err on the lighter side, especially if you're just starting out with us. And then you can experiment and get stronger with no injuries. All right, a couple more exercises here. So little knee drives, and then we'll begin. Excellent. And last one, nice big swooping arms all the way down and up. Anytime you're bending your knees for these squats, you wanna keep those knees behind those toes. And let's begin. We're starting off with an arm workout or arm exercise, so grab the lighter ones, okay? So this first one, we're going to be shifting our weight to one side and then bringing up our elbows high. So shift it and then bring it up. We're doing 12 reps here, each side if they're single-sided exercises. So hinge those hips back and bring them on up. So from the side view, looks like that. Two more. Last one. And other side. So hinge, bring it on up. Breathing evenly the whole time. Great job. And two more and last one beautiful <clears throat> that was our first exercise set next one we're going to be in a lunge as a compound exercise so we're going to be doing a row into a kickback back down and then back fly okay so row kick back all the way and then into a back fly this is an excellent one for your back and arms so really keep your abs engaged on this one. Keep your chest up and you got this. Good, one more here. 
and let's get the other side. So again, we're getting down low into that lunge. Knees behind my toe, row, kick back, and then into back fly. One more. And excellent. Next one, it's another compound. So your toes are gonna be wider than your heels. So get down low and then bring the knee nice and high. Down low, shifting the hips back, bring it on up. A little bit of core, a little bit of leg. This one, you could use heavier weights. If you don't wanna switch your weights, you're like, I feel good, then keep on going. Again, shifting those hips back. Last one each side, and beautiful. Next, this is an arm one. So we're doing bicep curl into overhead press. So nice and slow and controlled. Try not to swing and drop, otherwise kind of defeats the purpose here. So nice and controlled. My elbows are at my side. I'm not dropping the weights. Continue breathing. Excellent, two more. And last one. Beautiful. Next one, a little bit of a compound exercise. This one's complicated, so forgive me if I mess up on it. We're gonna take a step forward and then do a little running person and then step back. And let's alternate. So running person and then step back. Nice and light on that step forward. And if you feel this in the front of your knee, you could also try doing a back step lunge instead. Good. Excellent, notice how my knee is still behind my toes. Keep those abs engaged. Excellent, almost there. One more each side. And beautiful. You can place your weights down now and we have a little cardio burst. You can do two options, either a shuffle box or you can do a jump box, okay? So if jump doesn't feel good for you, you're not gonna be doing this one. This is our cardio round, so give it your all right now. Excellent. These are hard. You should be breathless. The thing that you have to look forward to is that you get a break after this. So give it everything you got right now. You will totally recover during your break. Nice and soft on that landing. Notice how I'm absorbing my jump with my muscles and not with extended locked out legs. And beautiful, great job. Now we get our break.
And we're back from the break. Let's grab your arm weights, the lighter ones, and let's begin with some tricep extensions while in a plie. So get down low, bring those hands together and extend on up. Squeeze the abs. Keep your chin up and stay low. Two more. Excellent. Next one, you can either use one or two, up to you. And we're going to be doing a just a standing shoulder press here and a back step lunge. So down low and then bring it up. From the side. Keep that shoulder nice and extended up with a slight bend in the, or in the elbow here. Two more. Two more, and beautiful. All right, grab your second weight, and we're going down low into a lunge, and we're just gonna alternate our, our arms. So it's kind of like a bicep and a tricep at the same time. So keep that chest up, keep on breathing. Really kick it back. Full extension back there. Beautiful. If you have any tension in that neck, try and bring your shoulders down. Good, almost there. And done. All right, shake out that leg. Those isometric lunges really get to you after a while. And let's get that other side. So down low, same position, abs in, and let's rock it. Good, almost there, and wonderful, step on up. Next, you can grab your heavier weight, and we're just gonna be doing little leg lifts, so you can kinda keep it on the crease of your leg, and balance nicely, and bring it on up and down. Good, if you want it a little harder, you could always extend your leg out straight. So using that weight to encourage you to Strengthen these muscles here. Keep that chest up. We'll have a tendency to round if it's hard. Good, and one more, beautiful. Let's get our other side. Chest up, two more, and excellent. All right, let's grab both of our arm weights this time. I'm just using one, I have one set for simplicity here, okay? So we're gonna get down low, and then bring it up, and then cross it up top. Each time, we're gonna alternate which one's in front. So drop it down low, and then alternate these little guys up top. So I'm doing one side and then the other. Good. 
Good, one more each side. And excellent. Now we're heading on to our little cardio burst. Okay, so we're gonna do it for 20 seconds on this side, 20 seconds on that side. Get ready, remember, go all out because you get the break after this. Okay, so we're just doing little knee drives right here. Stay low on our standing leg. Excellent, extend on up. Working that total body here. Good. And excellent, other side, right on into it. Woo. Stay low. And excellent, great job, take that break. Don't forget to drink some water. And we're back from the break. Let's grab our arm weights here. And we're starting off with a deadlift. So deadlift, let's work on that form real quick. So when you do a deadlift, you're hinging from the hips, slight bend in those knees, squeeze your glutes, come all the way up, and then we're compounding it with a little back here. So down low, squeeze, thumbs up, and bring it up and back. Beautiful. Make sure to bring those hips all the way forward each time. A lot of time I see people with rounded backs during this exercise, so keep that chest up. This is the most important exercise to keep your form on. If you feel it in your lower back, that means you're doing it wrong. You should feel it on the back of your legs as you're squeezing that booty and hinging forward. Good, two more. And excellent. Beautiful. Next one is a warrior row. So you're gonna be in a warrior three position. Okay, I'm on sand, remember? It's a little harder. So I'm hinging from the warrior and I'm rowing. And then if that is hard, you can always put your foot on the ground here, okay? So I'm gonna go for it. Bear with me. I'm keeping my chest up still. I'm finding a point of focus so I don't tip over. My toe is pointed towards the ground, squeezing my abs and pinching between my shoulder blades. Notice I have a slight bend in my, my standing leg so I don't lock it out. Oops, it's tough. Good, two more on this side. And excellent, shake it out. Other side, so ground down so that weight is spread evenly throughout. So hinging and let's row. So I'm gonna look at the ground so I don't tip over. Two more. And beautiful, make sure to keep that point of focus. Otherwise, you'll tip over. Okay, next one, we're gonna drop it down low and then bring it on up. So still using our arm weights, drop it down and bring it up. Squeeze those abs, squeeze that glute on the way up. Just two more. And excellent. Next one is a little side bend. So we're gonna keep one up 
and then we're gonna it's kind of similar to a deadlift and that our arm is staying close by so hinging and keeping our shoulder up the whole or our hand up the whole time so hinge get down low until kind of a little lunge and then squeeze come up Two more. And excellent, let's get the other side. Same deal, one arm goes up, inside leg, and let's go. Nice and slow, there's no rush. If I get ahead of you, just complete the exercises and we'll catch up on the break. Two more, and last one, great job. Next one, you can put one of your weights down, still on the lighter one, and it's a compound exercise. We're gonna go knee drive into a chop. So, knee drive into a chop, excellent. Nice and slow, keep that balance. Just two more. And excellent. Beautiful. Let's get the other side. And nice and slow. No rush here. It's hard enough as it is. Just two more. Excellent, let's move on to our cardio. Again, you can always do the non-plyo version. So in this case, non-plyo would be alternating. Plyo version is down, squat, and go. Remember, this is only a short little bit and we get a break after. Give it your all. And you're done, great job. Time for your break. And we're back. Next round, pick up your heavy weights this time. And we're just doing a squat with a knee drive.
keep those abs in great job come all the way up each time One more each side and excellent. All right, grab your arm weights now. And we got chest fly up here. So down low and bring it on up. Squeeze your abs. Try not to rock at all. So really use that core. Good, two more. Excellent. You can drop one of those. Next is biceps, so we're using our arms still. And you can put it on the inside and go for it. So my, I'm in a lunge, my knee is behind my toe. Still squeezing those abs. Always make sure that knee and that toe is aligned as well. Otherwise, you'll get a little twisted there. Just two more on this side. And on to the next. So I'm not like on my leg here, kind of to the inside of it. Oops. So again, it's an alignment. And let's go. Squeeze those abs here. Two more. And excellent. Grab your heavy weights now. We're doing a lateral lunge here. Lateral lunge. So bring them up top. Lunge to the side. Bring it on up. Try and get nice and low on these. I know it's hard. One more each side. And excellent. We still have our leg weights, so let's go. Back step lunge with a forward kick. So from the side, back step lunge, forward kick. It's okay if it doesn't go that high. Work within your flexibility range. Watch some of our yoga videos to improve that. Good, just two more. Excellent, other side. Ground down. Back step lunge. Woo With a kick. <laughs> Tipping over here. <laughs> I guess this side's less balanced. Two more down low. Bring it up, last one. And, oh, got sand everywhere. 
Now we have our plyo, okay? Our cardio burst. So if you wanna do a little bit easier, you're gonna just alternate. Otherwise, we're jumping. Nice and soft on that landing. Get it, try and hit the ground each time. Really work these because you get a break soon. Wonderful. Take that break. Get some water. And we're back from the break. This is our home stretch right here. Let's begin. Grab your arm weights and we're doing some bicep curls. This time your palms are facing down towards the ground. So keep beautiful posture nice and tall. Squeeze those abs and let's do our biceps. Just two more. Excellent. Next, we're gonna be doing alternating deadlifts. So grab your leg weights now, and we're starting with that traditional deadlift. So hinging the hips backward, squeezing the glutes and come on up, and then we're going into a single leg deadlift. So find a point of focus, hinge it, squeeze and come up. Deadlift, and let's switch to the other side. Oop. Keep that back foot flexed towards the ground and keep those hips both parallel to the ground as well. If you don't feel comfortable or stable doing the single leg, you could always keep with the double. So point that towards the ground. You might tip over if you're looking all over the place like me. And then good. Hinge it. Keeping that chest up. Nice and slow. It's not a race. Excellent. We're doing one more each side. Beautiful. Next, grab your arm weights. We're gonna do kind of a, a split stance here and little tricep extensions, okay? So, let's go for it. Ooh, these are hard. Two more. Good, shake it out. Let's get the other side. Good, two more, and excellent. Bring it on back up. 
Grab your heavy weights now, and we're doing lateral sumo squats. So really heavy weights, down low, and alternate. So notice my toes are a little wider. Get nice and low. Whew. Really works the inside of the legs and that booty. Good, two more. Excellent. Next one, we're gonna be doing some standing obliques. So, heavy weights again, and let's go. Just two more, and excellent, each side, beautiful. Last our ice skaters, our last cardio, okay? And give it your best right here, right now. If you do happen to be tired, you could just alternate. Otherwise, give it a full plyo action. And you're done, great job. Let's do some cool down stretches. First one, let's do a forward hip hinge and melt. You can keep your knees slightly bent or a little bit straight. Kind of the same thing. Beautiful. And then cross one foot over the other. And then the other side. You can hold all these stretches for even like 30 seconds. So next you can get low on this one. If it's too tough, you can just kind of sit up a little bit. Otherwise, open up one side. And then the other. Come on up. Shift it back and forth from side to side. Getting those inner thighs. You work them quite a bit. Heel toe those feet back together. And you're gonna shift one foot out front toes up towards your face, grab one elbow and bring it on over. Beautiful, let's get the other side. And excellent. Thank you so much for watching. You did a fantastic job today, whether it was because you did the whole workout or you just watched it. Join us next time. I'm Alice Maples and you're watching Jimra. Great job today.